Hi, my name is Kristen Johnson and I'm an English teacher here at Francis Hall North. I am here today to talk to you about the elective courses that we offer here at FHN. So first of all, students must be enrolled in or have already taken English 3 or Advanced Placement Language and Composition in order to take these courses. So in other words, they would open up to you as a junior and then you can take these courses your junior and your senior year. On top of that, as I said in the video just for the English courses, you need four credit hours of English to graduate. So these elective courses could also help get you there. You just can't start taking them until your junior year. Uh, they also are a half credit. So what that means is it's just like their semester courses. So you might take one first semester and then you would switch to a different English elective second semester in order to get the full credit hour for that year. Some students also like double up on them. So you might take um, an elective while you're also taking English three and just in order to get your credits done faster. So we have a lot of interesting and uh, fun options that I feel like play to different strengths within English um, students. So if there's something that you're interested in here, these classes I feel like are an opportunity to kind of like dive deeper into whatever it is that has piqued your interest in your English class. So first of all, we have creative writing. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. It's an opportunity to kind of like build a portfolio to really uh, fine tune your skills as a writer. We have novel that is more focused on our big readers or even if you feel like you're the kind of person who has wanted to find a time to read and fit it into your schedule but you're just not able to do that. Novel offers a lot of bit, a lot of choice and you get to read in class and you're kind of like working on the skills that you've um, learned in English 1, 2, or 3 and polishing them through novels of your choice. Mythology is similar to novel except all of the stories, they're more like short stories, they're myths um, and you get to, we always start with Greek and then we kind of we try to kind of venture into just world mythology. So this is for students who kind of, there's there's been like a growing interest in students who just like are more connected to mythology, I think because of like video games and different books, but this is a place to read a lot of mythology. Black literature, we focus on our diverse authors. It's just as an example, the anchor text in that class, which is very high interest, is Trevor Noah, Born a Crime. So this would be a place where you focus on the diverse authors and you once again kind of look back at those skills and author's purpose and the historical context of the books and you fine tune your English skills. We have sports literature. Um, it is a course that focuses on a lot of project-based learning. You get to do fun things like uh, decide who needs to be put into the Hall of Fame and you kind of like have to present an argument to your students. Um, and you get to uh, do a lot of current events just connecting to what's currently happening in sports. We have ACT prep, which is actually split with math. So this would be for students who are wanting to get a little bit of extra, very focused ACT prep. And it's interesting because you kind of switch, you start in your English class, but then you're actually also assigned to a math teacher all in that same uh, semester. So it is a, a great option that's proven to be quite successful in helping students with their AZ, ACT scores. We also have Speech One, which would help students with learning to be um, an orator. How do you speak in front of people? It is a great option for people who are interested in drama, or I have a ton of students who are on our debate team who also take speech. We do have a speech two with the prereq as speech one, and then we have debate class, which is also uh, very similar in that you're learning the official format of debating, and a lot of times those students also end up on our speech and debate team. So these courses, as I said, they are all semester long. So a lot of times people might double up. They like might be in black literature first semester, but then they'll be in speech one second semester so that they can get a full credit out of the way. But we feel that our electives have been a place for our students who are interested in English to genuinely express themselves um, in ways that might feel a little more creative or a little more tailored to what it is exactly that you're interested in English.